Okay, that was nice of your teammate. Okay, so I want to point out something that a lot of people do in Rocket League that I, I just hate. Is what you did on the kickoff is go for this boost, go straight for the ball, and you stay on the ground. And just use all of your boost. So after the kickoff gets done, you don't have any boost to make a play or to rotate quickly. Like that, just stay on the ground. I would recommend front flipping, like boosting and front flipping to get supersonic speed, which is the fastest speed. I'm pretty sure you know that. But, um, yeah, I would recommend doing that so that you have somewhere between 15 and 20 boost after the kickoff to quickly rotate and effectively rotate. And right here in 3v3, it's very common for you to have a teammate that cheats up, and then if the ball goes sideways like this, He'll go straight for this boost, and when you don't have boost, you are just screwed. But your teammate's nice enough here and actually dodges the boost and leaves it for you. I think he rotated way too far back right there. Um, you know, I think you should have stayed midfield right here instead of just beelining it back to your own goal. Like, I think you should be somewhat up here instead of, well, that's, I drew that really wrong. Instead of back here, you should be up here, because right about here is the midline. And I think you should be sitting around mid instead of, like, it's your own goal right here. Because if you were right over here, you could win this 100%, but you're way back at, on defense. Okay, right here you hit the ball off the weak part of the car. You hit the ball off the hood of your car. This hit that you just made, you hit it with your front part of the car right here, which is what you should have done again. And because on the second hit you didn't hit it with the front of your car, you popped it up very weakly, and he was able to get a clear on it. Where if you would have hit it with the front of your car, you could have pinched it with him, man. Lord knows what happened with a pinch. But they usually result in very good things. Okay, so here. Alright, that's good staying in goal. Alright, that's a good clear. Right here, your attack on the ball is very, very poor. You took a straight path to the ball instead of going to meet the ball so right here look at your boost you're just straight at the ball when alternatively you should have went to go meet the ball because you know he's fixing to hit the ball there's no way he doesn't hit the ball before you he's right there at it you're three times far away so instead of going straight to the ball where it is go to where it will be because right there you hit his car instead of the ball Okay, rotation. That was bad misplay by your team. That's a good little air roll shot. Definitely keep that up. That was good noticing your teammate was in front of you and let him stay up. And I just want to point out real quick. One of your teammates right here, I think I saw, just come zooming back with you. Yeah, this guy right here, he comes zooming back on defense with you. And having two people on defense with one person on offense against, let's count them, one, two, three people, and a 1v3, that is not okay. You need to be up there helping them right now. And the way you will realize that, recognize that, is use, if you play with a controller, use your analog stick more to look around, see where your teammates are, and what they're doing, and base your movements off of your teammates, pretty much, off of what they do. So 
It's almost in a sense playing more reactively than proactively. Okay, let your teammate hit the ball there. That's good. Same thing again. F. You and your teammate are way back here on defense. And you've got plenty of boosts, but you don't turn around until you're way back here. And your teammate kind of does the same thing. Uh, you just need to turn and block sooner and realize where you should be sooner. Okay. All right, you've got to change this. Um, okay, so right after this hit, you turn your ball cam off and just focus the big boost in the corner of the map over here. You're just eyeballing this right now. And you have no idea, you have no visual of the three enemies. You have a visual of one, and you just saw your teammate, he's somewhere right over here and you're going straight for boost you leave your team in a 2v3 situation but your team somehow <coughs> does good they don't allow a goal or anything so it's, it's all fine okay, that was good you went for the boost right there That's also good. You saw your teammate going back soon. Okay, you did not need a double jump for that. You could have just single jumped and just been fine. I mean, you could have met it right around here and just shot it right down. But you just misplayed it, and that's okay. That's, that's going to come with practice. A lot of free play practice from what I've found out. In my two years of playing. Okay, this could have been really bad, but it wasn't. Um, you unnecessarily jumped at the ball. Not right there, but right here. That ball is too far away for you to make a play on, and that's something you need to recognize sooner before you make your decision. Uh, I know your idea was, you know, your teammate right here just hit the ball off the wall and it's coming back. You're trying to pass to your teammate right here. That's good. That's good. But you cannot make the play. And you just need to realize sooner that you can't make the play. Because this guy right here... Damn it. I can't close this. This enemy just hit the ball. If he was positioned better, he could have hit it right over this guy scored very very easily but for some reason he hit it out this way which is bad could have got a powerful more powerful clear on this but this is just very meticulous very small it's not very important because you hit it with the side of your car which is good because this guy like you block more of the ball by hitting it with the side of your car right here to further guarantee the fact that the ball is going to go away from the goal which is good but you could have hit it with the front of your car right here again for more powerful hit of loop, but it's not that big of a deal okay I like that right there you used your analog stick to look behind you to see if your teammate was coming up damn I can't pause this to save my life Right here, you're looking behind you, that's very good. I think you need to do this more often. And instead of just looking straight behind you, look around. Look to your left, look to your right, see what's going on. Okay, that's just a slow reaction time on your part. Because while you're right here, you should really be right over here and be up in the air a little bit. That was a horrible arrow. Mm, this is why I wish I had like the full replay of look at it. Cause right here, if you would turn, 
I know you only have three boost, but like if you would turn on this, I think you could make a play because your teammate's already way back here in goal. And yeah, he is going to come up, but he comes up extremely late. Like while this ball was still up here, I think you could have like double jumped. I mean, you could have done something since your teammate was sitting back. But me mentioning that it's a very risky thing to do because you only have three boosts. But I just want to throw out alternatives to what you're doing. Well, it's just the case of playing threes. Your teammate got up late. It happens. I don't think you need to be that far back up in the pool. No, it's okay. Yeah, because if you were farther up, I think that could have been... Could have been good. Okay, that was a nice little block. Get y'all back into the game. Okay, right here is a positional thing. Um, let's see. Okay, so right here, you just passed midfield. You're on their side of the field. Right here, it's the midfield line. It's like right here is this big boost that's gone right now. And there's these other boosts that go right down midfield. You're past midfield. I also want to point out, the ball is on this side. Of, uh, that was horrible. The ball is on this side of the map. You're on this side of the map. They're fixed. They're. If he doesn't hit this ball back this way, in platinum at plat one, there's something wrong with him. So I think you should, right here, be positioned over here rather than over here. And as a result, look where the ball is. If you were on that side, you could have kept it on their part of the map. And right here is just a poor hit on the ball. You hit it with the back of your car. Yeah. You hit it right here on the back of the car. And you should be trying to you know, clear it out with the front. Or just you know, hit it up the wall. Or something instead of unintentionally passing it backwards right here. Right there you hit the ball. Hit it on the top of the ball, I believe. Yeah, you hit the ball up here, which makes it go down and bounce when you should be hitting it around here or a little lower to give it some air. How's it going? That was good on capitalizing on the mistakes of your opponents. Now uh, right here I would recommend, instead of just going straight back, go pick up this boost right here. There's nothing wrong with getting a little bit of extra boost on the kickoff. Right there, I really don't know what your teammate is doing right here. He just stayed still on the kickoff. He should be cheating up. He's like, this guy's going. This guy should either be cheating up or dipping to the side boost, but he just stays still. I guess he's AFK or something. Text him, I don't know. Which that puts you in a bad position because now you don't have any boost. And jumping off this wall, I'm pretty sure you know this being plat one but right here you got too low to the ground before jumping off the wall so you landed on the side of your vehicle rather than the wheels and it didn't mess you up or anything that's just something I just wanted to point out for you to work on right here 
if you would have, you just picked up a hundred boost, you didn't use but just a little bit to try and get back to goal and you stopped early. If you started using your boost right about now and just made a beeline to the goal, I think you could have blocked it pretty easily. Well, not necessarily easily. It would have been a difficult block, but I think he could have nonetheless. And that's the same thing I mentioned at the beginning. Just stay on the ground. Yeah, it was good. You started going to the middle right there. That was a good save on that part. I like how you did that. I'm gonna assume you've watched Kenobi. Because <laughs> what you do is you come out on the top of this and flip out this way to hurry the fuck up back onto the fence. That's good. That's very good. That's unfortunate. Your teammate hit you, but. Yeah, if you would have turned earlier right there, you definitely could have got a big clear on the ball. Right there, you just need to work on controlling your car in the air. Instead of hitting this off the butt of your car, you need to hit it with the front of your car. I think you should have, <laughs> this is going to sound weird, but normally when you think of challenges in 50-50s, you usually think of them as you against the opponent. Here, I would have challenged your teammate. You were in a much better position to hit this ball, but, you know, you recognize your teammate's going for it like he shouldn't be. He was actually going to beat you there, so what I just said really is a bad decision. <laughs> But this right here is a case of your teammate not knowing where you are. Because if he leaves this, you've got a good shot on net. With only 10 seconds left in the game. That was a whiff. I'm going to assume this is an ungodly long overtime. Yeah, your teammates just sitting there AFK again for some reason. I guess it was okay you went for that with your teammate. I mean, it's overtime. You know, desperate to save the ball and get a goal. Right here, I would just turn around and go back for boost. Let your other teammate come up. Because right here, you don't have... Well, I just skipped what I was trying to say. Because right here, you don't have boost, and your teammate right there is going for it. So I would have just peeled off and went back defense and let your player that's, or your teammate that's playing back come up. Now this is going to be your ball. Okay, you're right there, some indecisiveness. Your teammate is coming back. There's no way he can get a good hit on the ball. Uh, you should have turned to the ball a lot sooner and realizing that your teammate what kind of hits your teammate can get on the ball is very important that was random your teammate just flying out of nowhere yeah you don't need to miss <laughs> Mm. That could have been really, really bad. Right here, you're intentionally leaving the net open and going for this corner boost. When all you really need to make a save is just one of these small boost pads. This boost pad right here that's available. If you get that, 
you double jump and boost up a little bit, you can cover 100% of the goal. You should have definitely challenged that. Because your teammate, I don't know what the fuck he's doing. You should be more up here. Because it's going to be his responsibility to come back on defense. And you could have, you know, just did a straight up challenge. Or you could have waited. Or rushed it, hit the ball down in the corner. Over to their corner. But that's, that's not me necessarily saying that's something you should have done. It's just me saying that's an option of something else that you could have done. Because I feel like it's important to say that because it seems like you're making a lot of the same decisions and you don't realize the alternatives and the other options that you have available. As far as decision making, rotations, positioning. That was a good block. Real good block. I'm actually just going to type this up and comment it to you. I'll actually finish this. I'll cut this part of the video out. I don't even remember what I just said. I'll have to run both to be good. Mm. You turned way too. Mm. You turned way too sideways right there. That's okay. You know you messed up. That's fine. That's something else that's key is acknowledging and accepting the fact that you messed up. It's gonna happen. Yeah, you should definitely not have done that. You should have just came back on defense and allowed your teammate to just go up and rotate. Alright, you could have got a really nice pass off of this. You double jumped after you hit the ball. Like right here, you could touch it and then jump, boost at the same time, and hit it really hard. Just right down here in this vicinity to your teammates and hope that they can score it. But instead, it's just a weak hit that they managed to get a block on. It was almost a goal. Alright, there, that's a triple commit. That's when their things are bad. The whole team's committing. That's not okay. That's an amazing save. It's risky. You're bumping into your teammates that are trying to make saves. That's extremely, extremely risky. This is your goal. Actually, no, that was your teammate's ball. I even misread that. Ooh. I don't feel like I rushed that quickly. Yeah, you shouldn't have hit it again. You could have really just mind gamed the hell out of him right there. Ooh, that's so risky. Just hitting it right in front of your goal in overtime. That was a good little free jump to try to predict the block. Yeah, hey, like he turned off ball cam there. I think that's only... That's the first time I've seen you turn it off when you're not going for boost. I think you should do that more.
a teammate should not have hit the ball right there. Right here, y'all just need to, yeah, just keep it in the corner. Good save, good save. I don't know what your teammate is doing. This is your ball. See, right there is time. Especially over time. I'm gonna point this out. Where's my mouse? Right here. Let me replay this fully. Your teammate gets this clear and you're turning. This is one of the times where you need to look behind you, see where your teammate is, see what he's doing. To determine whether or not you're going to come for the ball or if you're going to try to see which way they're going to clear it so that you can get a pass off afterwards. Because you yeah, see there comes your teammate. That probably would have played out a little better if you knew what they were doing. You're lucky they missed. But you were in a bad position there anyway. Let me see if I can break that down a little bit. Um, <coughs> Okay, yeah, like, since they jump for the ball right there, you just stay on the ground. If they were actually good at the game and hit it towards the goal, it's free goal for them. I think you should have stayed on the wall a little bit. And this guy just overshot it. Uh, you had your momentum going this way, and you're trying to go up, so it goes at a curve. When for you to be able to save this ball, you need to go straight up. So you need to break it real quick and jump straight up at the ball. But he missed right there, so that's okay. <coughs> yeah, that's a bad ball to go for. I'm glad you didn't commit on that. Uh -oh. Okay. Mm. Again, you could have got a real good clear off of this, but for some reason you backflipped. I doubt that was intentional. Uh, intentionally backflipping to shoot like that is very, very advanced. Like I've only ever seen that in Champ Three and Challenger or Challenger <laughs> Grand Champion. I'm thinking about League of Legends. Um. Yeah, you could have definitely hit that harder. And if you would have hit it harder, you could have gotten to it faster by the ball. Like, by the ball traveling faster, it makes you get to the ball faster. But the slower it goes, the slower it takes you to get to the ball. If that makes any sense. Ooh. Looked like your teammate missed for a second. Okay. I don't know if you're teamed with these guys. But everybody's got to stop hitting each other when they're on defense. That's something you need to try to intentionally avoid. Like right there, you and your teammate both went for the ball. It's difficult on defense to leave the ball for your teammate to make a play on. But this is something where I think that would have been beneficial or good. I'll just, I'll hit main points in my little comment on Reddit, because I mean, this is like a 30 minute video on one fucking Rocket League game, so I'm going to just make some points on Reddit, probably get some timestamps from this, and hand it off to you.